Hello friends, this is Dave. Uh, this video is about uh, tagging, how it works, fundamentals, concept, um, how is the flow in the Ethernet frame switch, and then we'll we'll focus on a via Nortel that how tagging works on specifically on those devices. So let's start it. Okay, so this is Ethernet switch, and these are different port. So this particular port is a chunk port, one slash one. The default VLAN is one. It's only allowing VLAN twelve and fifteen. Uh, this is port one slash two. This is chunk as well. Default VLAN is one, and it's only allowing um, VLAN twelve. Why it's one? Okay, okay that it's VLAN twelve. These two are access ports. It's this one is only allowing VLAN one. And this one is allowing VLAN 12. And finally, we have got virtual interface. Let me correct this to 12. So this is VLAN 12. This is the MAC address. A. Just uh, just assume like you know it starts with A for Apple. Just for the understanding. And the IP address. Now we have got three frames on the left side. So we'll we'll understand what happens frame for each scenario so let's get started uh, let's say this is first frame it belongs to VLAN 12 right so when this frame is coming to switch it looks at the frame and checks for the VLAN and it says I am from VLAN 12 and then it checks whether am I allowing that VLAN or not and it says yes I can allow you so then frame comes inside the switch now here's the interesting part from here frame can exit to this port why because this is a trunk port first thing second thing is VLAN 12 is allowing here as well <coughs> it could exit access port why because this is only belong to VLAN 12 and thirdly this frame can directly go to this virtual interface because it belongs to VLAN 12 all right so now we'll understand what happens if this frame goes to here 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 definitely don't go here because it's only allowing VLAN 1 this is a trunk so easy maybe it's connecting to some other switch uh, from from there to other VLAN this thing is definitely belonging to those people or group which are in VLAN 12 so what happens is this is a trunk and it has 802.1q tagging when this frame goes to here and when it exits the interface the concept behind trunk is it will not remove this particular header so when the when the, when the frame is exit exits its trunk interface it will exit with this header and exit the opposite thing happens here so whenever any frame exits the access interface it will remove this header so the same frame when it goes to users it will remove this frame and third thing when this frame is coming to virtual interface what it does is it will match the MAC address and if destination MAC addresses matches this will not forward anywhere it will not forward and why because it already found the destination and that's why this is the ultimate reason why we use VLAN interface or virtual interface for um, management we use like SSH telnet for all network devices I hope this is clear if you have any doubt uh, please feel free to comment now let's consider the second scenario where the frame belongs to some other VLAN let's say 50 and then 
when this frame comes to the switch it again checks whether am I allowing this VLAN or not so this frame says I'm coming from VLAN 50 can I enter and then switch says okay hang on I can only allow 12 and 15 so no it will discard it so this is pretty easy scenario the, the frame simply won't enter the switch that's it it will discard it all right and final so again reconfigure it these two are dead frames so this is where we understood if tag frame is coming with the right VLAN what happens if tag frame is coming with different VLAN then what happens and now in the final scenario what happens if frame is coming without any VLAN it says untagged frame and when this frame enters the switch it says okay you don't have any identification uh, then goes to default behavior default VLAN so remember when any untagged frame enters the switch it always goes to default VLAN and here it's it's pretty simple it, it won't go here because this is uh, belongs to VLAN VLAN 12 it won't go here it will go here because this belongs to VLAN 1 and it will go here because this is a trunk port as well as it's having def default VLAN 1 in the next part let's understand why app so these are the basic tagging techniques with uh, Avaya Nortel and they came up with their own old terminology tag all, untag all, tag PVID only, untag PVID only so these are Avaya Nortel technologies and let me start removing confusion first of all PVID means default VLAN Okay, so 10% is gone. <laughs> All right. This is trunk and take all access. Tag PVID only trunk. And this is what I was talking about. Maybe I'll just turn at the end. So this one is a normal, normal trunk port, which we understood um, just now. Whenever any frame exits the switch, it will simply remove the 802.1p header, and there is no difference. It, it just the name is tag all, nothing fancy. Same thing we see with here untag all is access port so these two are pretty easy whenever you want to make any port as a trunk just select tag all and for the access just select untag all again I'll, I'll show you the configuration part at the end so don't don't think about it at the moment we'll just focus on the concept now this is where the things are getting a bit wire oriented tag PVID only what this means is let's say this port uh, maybe again I'll say one two one slash one now when you take this box and when you say this port is set for tag PVID only with VLAN 100 and here it says let me allow VLAN 100 200 300 what happens here is when frame exits the interface it will remove this header for VLAN 200 and 300 but whatever is specified and let's say the default VLAN or maybe PVID is 100 it won't remove header for this one and this is helpful because let's say we have switch here and we have another switch here 
which belongs to a group of people who are bil belong to VLAN 100 and this is where we can use this feature to filter a different VLANs and it's still a trunk port so this is quite a good feature so again um, when this when this feature is on the the frame exits it will remove header for all the VLANs except the VLAN which is specified in the PBID I think um, the name is a port virtual identification now the most fascinating part of the video and my favorite I'm the PBID only I started with background story it's not story but need to understand if they have created untech PBID only why they have created so we understand the problem first and then we automatic get the solution so maybe it was something like this you know we have switch and as usual this is the end users and end user switch and it used to connect to PC user PC and after some time IP phone came and th this gave birth to whole IP telephone system and definitely IP telephone this device is a far more intelligent than PC <coughs> so the whole idea was how can we differentiate because if you are deploying IP phone in a user environment somehow we need to connect so we can't do like this the phone is connected to one port and PC is connected to other port <coughs> because mainly this was belong to data traffic and this belongs to voice traffic and that's why to connect these two things within a single port it gives a brand new feature and the answer is untech PVID only so you might got the idea the, the core purpose for this feature is to separate data traffic and voice traffic and maybe using that what they did was with the same switch within a single port instead of PC it will connect with excuse for <laughs> my drawing um, from the switch it will connect with IP phone and from IP phone it connects to PC this is the current design okay so intelligence is all here the separation of data traffic and voice traffic is done by this device because PC is done still in this case so now let's explore this feature okay finally I managed to draw decent diagram for you guys okay this is a wire 4548 uh, GD8 switch just on a side note uh, this is a POE switch power Ethernet so whenever you plug any any device it doesn't require power okay so as discussed uh, in the previous slide this was invented because Hawaii needed to deploy their IP phones so let me write some configurations here what we do as an engineer is in this particular port let's say this is uh, let me see a screen in this port what we do is uh, allowed VLAN let's say 100 all 100 all right and um, untech PVID only so from GUI perspective uh, that's just a little box which we have to tick and then there'll be another box or maybe another setting which says PVID or default VLAN 100 and let me do some color coding here so in this 
particular slide red means data and green means voice so this vlan sorry that was the wrong color let's make 200 as a voice vlan and 100 is our data vlan okay and as you can see the default vlan is data okay let's understand the flow so <coughs> any traffic generates from pc sent to ip phone and from here to switch so as i told like this is a pc all right this is not a switch and it doesn't have that that level of intelligence that it can tag frames or like any headers like it doesn't understand this kind of header 802.11 anything like that so all the frames living from the pc are untagged frames that's the first thing number one and these frames untagged frames comes here so basically there are two ports on the OIF phone or an auto phone one connects to pc other one connects to switch and this is like a almost like a virtual switch we can say and this phone has intelligence to tag frames and we can configure this device with particular VLAN let's say VLAN 200 in this case this belongs to voice so what happens is all the frames coming from PC to here and from here to switch are untagged frames and all the frames living from this device phone to switch are tagged frames with VLAN 200 so if you recall the first slide and the fundamentals of tagging what happens at our switch is it identifies that okay the tag frames which are from VLAN 200 belongs to voice and it allows and do like you know um, for the hooks and other thing but what happens to untagged frames because if you recall again um, the basic by default if it's untagged it goes to default VLAN right exactly this is the idea how, how this is how you separate the data traffic from the voice traffic so when untagged frames comes on the switch it says okay you are untagged you don't have any identification you go to default VLAN and this works as a bridge so then what happens is um, all the untagged frames are tagged with default VLAN data and then goes to another switch amazing isn't it so let me write the most important part of the slide always always in your network when you configure untagged PVID this is only when you are using phone and PC this is the main 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 purpose alright this is a special case and this is this basically used for separating data and voice traffic so just specify data traffic or maybe data VLAN as a default that's what you need to do this will take care of the voice traffic don't worry about this one we need to worry about this and this PC needs to bridge with data traffic so let's say your data VLAN is 50 just write 50 here okay and that's it I mean it's, it's pretty simple but you have to understand the fundamentals uh, again if you have any questions uh, please feel free to comment um, I think this video is long enough uh, maybe I need to create one more which involves configurations with GUI as well as command line so I'll just stop right now I hope you enjoyed it thank you